hello and welcome to Fox Tech. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to disable burst mode on your iPhone. Burst mode can be a helpful feature, especially when using the timer as it takes multiple photos in quick succession, allowing you to pick the best one. However, if you find yourself with too many photos to sift through, you might want to disable this feature. Let's dive into how you can manage these settings effectively. When you use the timer on your iPhone camera, it automatically takes burst photos. This can be beneficial because it gives you multiple frames to choose from, ensuring you get the best possible shot. If you're like me, even with a timer, you can still end up with a blurry picture. So having more options is quite helpful. Unfortunately, you can't change the fact that using the timer results in burst photos. However, you can customize how burst mode is activated to suit your preferences. To turn off burst mode, you'll need to adjust a specific setting on your iPhone. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down until you find the camera option and tap on it. In the camera settings, look for the option labeled use volume up for burst. Toggle this option off. By doing this, you ensure that holding down the volume up or down button will no longer activate burst mode, but will instead take a single photo. Here's how it works. On newer iPhone models, holding down the shutter button in the camera app doesn't start burst mode. Instead, it activates the quick take video feature, which is quite useful for capturing spontaneous moments. Burst mode by default is set to be activated when using the volume buttons. By disabling the use volume up for burst option, your volume buttons will now initiate quick take videos rather than burst photos. This small adjustment can make a significant difference in how you use your iPhone's camera. It allows you to have more control over your photo taking process and reduces the clutter of multiple images. Plus it leverages the quick take video feature, which can be incredibly handy. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to disable burst mode on your iPhone. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, peace. Next.